Oh, there it goes. That is crazy. That's quite the toenail. <laughs> Look at that. that thing is huge. <laughs> Hey, as you watch our video today, please watch all the way to the end because I want you to see Spur's reaction when I let him go in the pasture. Well, those of you that watch our channel know that Vicky does all the hard work of editing and stuff. So I don't know how this will all come together. If she'll put this on the end of the video with Chipper being sued, or if it'll be a video all by itself. But now Cordell's going to trim up Spur, the little pony that we got at the auction. Okay, with this, he actually whipped out a saw. Spur has been very neglected has super long hooves. And so that's a lot to bite off with just hoof nippers. Now, those of you that have uh, heard his story, this is an interesting story. This, uh, the auction called me, well, the guy that bought him, at, so it, it was actually an individual that bought him at the auction, thinking that he knew someone that would buy it. Anyway, the person that he thought would buy it couldn't buy it so I get this call Alan would you take the pony because I don't even have a way to transport it and they knew that I'd rescue horses and help them and anyway I was told Cordell yeah there's this little little pony stud at the auction <laughs> I just saw Cordell do what I've done does he look like a stud to you no, <laughs> no he's not a stud and then I was told when I went to get him, hey, be super careful. He's crazy out in the alleys. Again, we get there. Blake got there with his buddy, and they were able to grab his halter and lead him right up on the trailer. So he's nothing like what they saw at the auction. Now, see, he's a little spooky there when, he, when Cordell took off his coat. But for the most part, I think he's... He's just a sweet pony that's been neglected. It's not it, too wild if I'm sitting underneath him like this. Him, huh? Yeah, he's not too wild, is he? But Cordell's got to take off some of the hoofs so he can be able to get a bite with his nippers. Maybe I should take a turn saw. <gasps> See if he can break it. Nope. This is pretty, pretty crazy. These are these hooves are so long. He's been neglected for so long. We found out that one of his eyes, he's either blind or has an infection in there that hopefully will clear up. But we've got some work to do on this little guy. But wouldn't it be cool to? help him get healthy and get him to a, a good home. And I have a feeling he's probably broke to ride. As old as he is and as gentle as he's acting, oh, that's, that's kind of a big chunk of hoof right there. That's crazy. Here you go, Bella. Dogs love horse hoof and that's the biggest chunk she's probably ever seen in her life. <laughs> That's crazy. You hardly know where to start with one this long, do you? Uh, I guess you do. Of. It's it's hard. Sometimes when you start sawing like that, if he's so long, it'll start bleeding. Now you had um, you said at farrier school you had a pony that had super long hooves, right? Oh yeah. Was were they this long or worse? Uh, there were some that were this long. There were some that were worse than this. Yeah, he's definitely not the wild stud they t they described to us that was bought at the auction. And I think they just thought he was wild because wh whoever had brought him in has obviously neglected him. And then 
they run him into the auction and the auction didn't know anything about him and he gets probably scared and so he's running scared like so they ran him through like a wild cow and but once you get a hold of him he's actually a a sweet pony oh man those are hard aren't they yeah and that's crazy that's like rock Look at that, it's already starting to look a lot better. But man, this is a lot of work. <laughs> Cordell's thinking, yeah, tell me about it. You're the one videoing and... Yeah, I'll switch you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll video for you, you tell me. I'll tell you how to do it. <laughs> we could try that. I, I could take one of them. All right. <laughs> People will just keep up with these things. That's why you want a barrier to come out regularly and make sure your horse's hooves are staying healthy. Look at that. That front hoof actually looks like a hoof now instead of a, a ski. He's definitely not the wild pony they thought he was. You want me to saw on it for a while, give you a break? Go ahead, here I'll hold it. Switched rolls. Cordell's gonna realize he's a videographer. Maybe watch the change professions already because that's <laughs> a lot easier than this is, isn't it? Yes, sir. I think you got it faster than I did, though. I think. <laughs> The angle I have it is a little bit better. Better, yeah. <laughs> this side is hard. I doubt you're gonna change professions, huh? No, no, I'll keep video. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we could, do you get your nippers? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. Nope. Uh, that's... Here, I'll show you how you do that. Here. Trade again. All right. Well, you know how Cordell said his base rate is one thing, and then when it's difficult, the rate can go up. This one's a difficult one. This is classified as correction. Correction. 
corrective or correction or whatever you want to call it. So corrective shoeing or trimming. But isn't that amazing to go from that over there to this? But this back one back, <laughs> I'm still trying to catch my breath. That's just a hard angle on this one side. Mm -hmm. You got the one side cut. You just got... Oh, there it goes. That is crazy. That's quite the toenail. <laughs> Look at that. That thing is huge. <laughs> But he's a gentleman, this little pony. He's definitely not the wild, crazy horse that they we heard him. about. Yeah. I shouldn't have bragged about him too early though, huh? I guess not. Too soon. I know I bragged way too soon. Do you want me to bring this yeah. stool? Bring this over. They just call it a shoeing stand or something. What's hoof it? Jack. A hoof jack? Yeah. Well, that That's the brand though. Cool. Are you going to tie him so if he. Well, so maybe so I'm out of that fence so he can lean against this. Oh, I see. So while he was trimming and rasping this back one, trying to shape it a little bit, I try to go ahead and saw this one up here. So it's about ready to come off. And anyway, this one's not an easy one for sure. But man, he's gonna look and feel a lot better. better still a little rotated but there's not much we can do about that no for the first time though could, this is good i could take more off his heel but i'm kind of afraid to take more where do you get your uh nippers and stuff uh oklahoma horse shooting school i still get them shipped out of oklahoma oh really yeah so the school that you went to actually sells them? Yep, they have a uh, store in the front of it. Shout out if you want to go to horseshoeing school. There Oklahoma. you go. Oklahoma Horseshoeing School is what it's called? Yep, Purcell, Oklahoma. There's one in Ardmore too. They, uh, they're owned by the same person. Oh, cool. Well, after me uh, helping you saw that hoof, I, I, I think I'll pass on going to barrier school. <laughs> I'm still trying to get my breath. Yeah. Ready? There you go. There's another big old chunk of hoof. That is crazy. What do you think, Bella? Where's the other ones? I know you haven't eaten all of them.
but look at this transformation. He looks so much better. Almost three done and one to go. Now these aren't perfect yet. They'll get there after a time or two of trimming him. But at least we've got him heading in the right direction. I'm just super impressed. He, you know, you get some Shetland ponies that will bite at you and be mean. He's not mean at all. He's just been neglected and abused. But I'll bet you he's been broke to ride. So that'll be one of our next steps just to see. But, but at this point, I'm just happy with what we're seeing. So one more to go. One more. Ooh. Remember that's that blind side, so yeah. you gotta go down there slowly. Forgot. Yeah, he if he just gets surprised on this one side and all of a sudden has his foot grabbed or something. And the last chunk of hoof that we've cut off there. You wanna hand me that stand, sorry. Yeah, no problem. So here's his hoof jack. These are pretty cool. Be hard to do with that one, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, I can do a lot more with it than I can without it. Saves your back. So this back hoof was the least bad if that's of the bunch still long and but it hadn't started to twist and rotate that's the problem you get it too long it puts a lot of pressure on their tendons and coffin bone coffin coffin bone coffin now do you think he's foundered or just been neglected can't say can't diagnose <laughs> How you get in trouble yeah but he seems sound i mean he was moving pretty good on them even considering how bad they were so, yeah so i i think he's gonna be okay the next step will be to check out his eye and to see if there's anything we can do to that eye if he's already lost sight in it for sure or if it's an infection that we can clear up so That'll be one of the next steps. He reminded me that we were going to show you guys this Cody James rasp that so many of you ask about. And even though that he says this one's kind of dull, this is the blade he'd like to have re replaced, right? Yeah, sure. So is it the whole, the whole rasp or just the inside portion of it that's the blade? Just the inside. You just unscrew this right here. You know, watch, I guess. And, uh, you unscrew this and then the blade will pop out. So are those new blades there? These are old ones. So all yours are, yeah. are dull right now? Yes, sir. That's pretty sweet. They're saw blades that are all zigzagged together. That is crazy. So there's saw blades that are, whoever came up with that design. Now that could take a lot of hoof off in a hurry, right? Is oh, that, yeah. that kind of why you like it? Yeah, and it, it's with this with this kind of setup right here, it, it makes it a lot easier to get them level. Oh, okay. So I, I, I like it. That's cool. So those of you that ask about that rasp, it's a Cody James rasp with um, replacement blades. Can I look at that real quick? So 
right there cody james diamondback refill fill and this is an aggressive one so or yeah you, you can take them off take off a lot of hoof in a hurry yeah that's awesome yeah hey cordell you're amazing i'm gonna show uh spur over here okay and uh kind of his little transformation good. Let's finish up. We got one oh more. that's true you got a little bit more to do not very much though but he's a sweet now remember that's his blind side so go up slow yeah. yeah see he turns all the way around once he knows you're there he's fine but you got to remember on this side to not spook him but he hasn't kicked at us once has he uh -uh. except for i've jinxed you every other time i've bragged yeah, about him so get... now you're gonna get <laughs> See <you> later, <laughs> yeah, yeah don't get plastered into my hay bales back here so Super excited about this transformation. Let us know what you think about our pony spur here. And uh, we may put a saddle on him and see how he acts. I'll see if I can get to the vet. Maybe get an appointment on Monday to look at that eye, so. Well, Cordell, thank you. You're, the, you're the man. I wish you could go home and relax, but he had to hurry so he can go help his dad. Uh, switch out some buck and shoots at the county fairgrounds so all right thanks for coming again bud thank you all right Appreciate it. see ya well cordell just left my beautiful wife just showed up and i love you look at that i want to put a saddle on him I, I i guarantee he's been broke to ride i just hope we can get that eye healthy his feet now look a million times better yeah, they do. Good job, you guys. Yeah, Good Cordell, job, Spur. Cordell's going to try to take credit, Vicky, but I did it all. <laughs> Cordell's going to take credit, <laughs> huh? <laughs> For right. some reason, I think you Cordell might have done it. <laughs> more than me. It's fun having Cordell here. He's a great kid, and it's just fun to see him. See, he, this is not the wild pony that they told us he was. And you know what? He's not tiny like I envisioned. I'm just trying to see if I have a small pony sandwich. So tell us what you think of Spur and his transformation from really long, unhealthy feet to starting to look a lot better. And look how gentle and nice he is. If Blake or Casey were here, we'd have one of them jump on him. But since they're not here, Vicki, come on over. <laughs> <laughs> I draw the line. Remember, I want the tiny pony. <laughs> she wants a teeny, teeny, tiny one. So tell us what you think of Spur. I like the guy and I'm so excited that we're giving him a better life and uh, if you like what Cordell does give him a call he's willing to travel as long as he can afford as long as you make it worth his time and and uh, as long as he has time to do it so anyway thanks for coming along if you like our videos please subscribe and hit that notification bell but I'm super excited if nothing else this pony's healthier and happier today just because of what we've done and is he the crazy wild stallion that we heard about at the auction doesn't look like it to me he's actually a, a gentle kind gilding so there you go spur you did great <laughs>